Hello friends, this is Yancey. I am on location per a WG tier who has referenced us here, who is involved with this unique little sun glare here going on. Makes the shadow people moving around. Anyway, stay focused now. Now there's a story behind this thing. This is the ninth okay. This is the biggest meteorite ever found in the US, the replica. Now, I got a uh, green glove from take a soil sample and let's read this here thing. Look, somebody did a graffiti on that. Which is wrong. And it ain't right. Now, okay, so, I, in 1902, Ellis Hughes discovered the 15 half ton Willamette meteorite. Largest ever found in the United States, about two miles northwest of this place. Marker erected August 4th, 1962 by Westland Fairboard. Now a WGT, he's on that Fairboard. He was on that Fairboard. And he coordinated this whole meeting. There's a big old story about this thing. That they made this replica and these two old, old dudes made it and such. They said inside of it's two oil drums, you know. But I'm giving it a full tensile test, and there's no way, there's no way that it's made out of oil drums. And that's what the WGT or said. Now, 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 it's just a beta scout mission. Now, that's about a, about a golf ball, just in case Bob Goblin show up or whatnot. Now, he had a crazy story here. Now, he said he was walking down here about one in the morning. It's on a bender up at the local saloon. Or, or no, first off. Okay, first off, oh, sorry. It's been a long day, man. Been doing that Pinehurst, Easter egg, alien pod invasion stuff, hardcore, 24 7, basically. So bear with me now. Okay, so the story goes like this. Now, one day he's walking down this street, like in about 69, and he had one of them. Uh, he had, he, had a, he had a dog. He had, he had a good dog, and you take him for a walk. And he had one of them. Uh, he had like styrofoam golf balls or whatever, and, and he would hit him with this little wedge, and uh, the dog would go fetch him and bring him back and such. And uh, so one day he's doing that, and he stops up over here, and he takes his golf club, and he's just pointing, you know, like, let's say this is my golf club here. He's just like pointing like this, boom, 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 boom. And some guy from this, uh, the general store, which I believe is over there, or, no, there it is, over there. He came running out, all haberdash and whatnot, all crazy style, saying, don't do it, don't ever touch anything metal near the, the three twos. And you know what? We got three twos here. We got one, cut my finger over there. I don't want to talk about it. Two and three. That, uh, I believe those are the ones that you're talking about. And he said, don't ever point anything three. Don't point anything metal at the three twos. And he was like, all right, took off. And one night he was out here drunk and on a bender, wandering home from the local saloon and such. And in just an act of pure benderism, he yanked one of these stop signs here. One, they're probably gone now, but I mean, I've been in place to change one night. But he yanked it out of the ground, okay? Yanked it out of the ground and came charging at this thing and tried to hit and tap the three twos, and the freaking thing went bizang, bazoom, and Bing bang bong and all that crazy stuff. Sort of setting off little sparks and such and, and that's that's what I got. And that's enough. I appreciate that lead. Uh, I am on a on the fly mission here, didn't have any plans, so um trying to get a good view here in this light. See all these shadow people walking around and whatnot. But uh 
wow, you know, I mean, this guy, you know, bear with me now, I gotta put on my soil tank of blood here real quick. That draw a lot of attention there, he's going down the road, you know, there's some people out here, you know. Now we do it like that. We're going to turn it inside out. Okay, we got the soil sample. We're going to bring it back to the lab. Down in the bunker. Sunday night, we're going to be doing a whole lot. But getting our own bender on. But we'll be on it in the morning. And we're going to find out what's up with this thing. And that's a... It can't be the same size. I, I'm gonna have to consult with the. I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. I believe it's Gary, but uh, I don't know. It's just been a crazy week, people. But how about this? It's gonna be an interesting uh, adventure. It's just a pre-scout with a soil sample, and it's in this old, old-fashioned neighborhood. That general store been in there for like 70 years and whatnot. This old church up here. And it's in Westland, Westland, Westland arenas and such. We either got turkey dinner on Saturdays from four to seven. I'm down for that. But anyway, we got some crazy glare going, boy. But it is October fifth in Oregon, and it is eighty degrees, man. Unbelievable. We got a chemtrail up there. I mean, I don't have to go looking for paranormal. It just, it just it's everywhere. Look. Renaissance Plaza. I think I went to a church sale and whatnot up in here once, but I'm not sure. Look at that annual turkey dinner. Oh, it hadn't happened yet. Hmm. Now, you do know the bird is the word. It is the word. Bam. Okay, well, obviously I'm a little goofy, but you can't say I'm... Whoa, excuse me. Oh, that beef brisket. It's a little greasy. But we got an American flag up, flying up there and whatnot. It's an old town in Americana, USA, boy. Cypress looking tree and such. Old style houses and whatnot, but... The meteor's back there in that clump. You can see the top of it, but... I'm gonna roll out. I feel like I've done what I needed to do. And I'm calling it good. My name is Yancey. You can catch me up on the WGT.com, the YouTube, the Twitter, the Google, the Goggle, the Bang It, the Bing It, the Bong It. Just in them search bars, just type in Yancey Aliens or Yancey Golf or Yancey Bigfoot or Yancey Anxiety Attack or whatever floats your boat, bro. Nope. Dope. I, I'm getting goofy. Pre-check mission beta version 2.9 in the books. And we're going to do a follow-up big time, big time. May require a night mission uh, and some heavy tensile testing. But more on that later. Y'all have a great weekend. Uh, so weekend's over. Have a great night. And those power through this week. I right, did.